Hi there. In this video, I'm going to be looking at global financial management, um, focusing on exchange rates and interest rates. Uh, this is part one of three for global financial management strategies. Um, I've split these videos into three uh, different sections just to minimize um, how long they were going to be. Um, so firstly, we'll start looking at exchange rates and currency fluctuations. Um, now, because countries have their own domestic currency, you know, the Australian dollar, the Japanese yen, the Chinese yenbimbi, the American dollar, um, when global transactions take place, one currency has to be converted to another, whether they like it or not. Okay? Um, now, these, uh, these conversions take place through the, the foreign exchange market, also known as the Forex market. Okay? Um, and this constant buying and selling of currency establishes uh, the price. So that demand and supply eventually determines what we know as the exchange rate. So, what are exchange rates? Well, the foreign exchange rate is the ratio of one currency to another. So it tells how much a unit of one currency is worth in terms of another. For example, if one Australian dollar equals 70 US cents, that means one Australian dollar is worth 70 US cents. Basically, if one a uh, you know, if one dollar A equals 70 US whatever it might be, that means one Australian dollar is worth 70 US cents. Um, what are the effects of a currency fluctuation, however? Now, a currency uh, f uh, appreciation raises the value of the Australian dollar in terms of foreign currencies. So, one Australian dollar is going to buy more foreign uh, foreign currency, okay? This makes our exports more expensive on international markets, but prices for imports will fall. So if we're selling stuff overseas, an appreciation will make our products more expensive to buy overseas. However, it is now relatively cheaper for us to buy things from overseas and have them brought into Australia. So an appreciation actually reduces the international competitiveness of Australians, um, uh, business, of Australian businesses trying to sell overseas. Okay, so it's a bad thing for them. On the flip side, a depreciation has the opposite effect. Um, this lowers the price of Australian dollars in terms of foreign currencies. So now, foreign currency buys more Australian dollars. So one American dollar will get you more Australian dollars than the other way around. Now, this makes our exports cheaper. So when we want to sell stuff overseas, it's cheaper. It's better for us. However, if you want to buy something from America on eBay, you might find you're actually going to be paying more. So depreciation, therefore, improves the, the international competitiveness of Australian exporting businesses. So depreciation is better for Australian businesses trying to compete internationally. Um, now, with interest rates, a business that plans to either relocate offshore um, or expand uh, domestic production facilities uh, to increase exporting needs money in order to do it. It needs finance to do so. Traditionally, Australian interest rates are higher than other countries. Traditionally. So, if an Australian business borrows from overseas to try and gain um, an interest rate advantage, um, they've got to be careful that the currency fluctuations... Um, don't actually negate that advantage. That They've got to be mindful that currency fluctuations could cause the cheap interest rate to actually be more expensive than domestic rates. So, for example, if uh, the interest rate in Australia is, let's say, 3%, but they can get a 2% interest rate from borrowing from a bank in, um, in America, they've got to make sure that when they take into account the foreign exchange rate, that that 1% um, difference isn't going to be basically uh, cancelled out um, because of that exchange rate um, conversion later. So I hope this brief video on uh, global financial management of exchange rates and interest rates has been useful. The next video continues looking at global financial management strategies, uh, but focusing on methods of international payment. Thank you.